Hey, I'm Donald Bell for CNET.com. Today, I'm giving you a first look at the fourth generation Apple iPod Touch. Now, this is technically not the first first look. This is probably the second or third first look since this design of the iPod Touch has been around for, this is, I think, going on its third year. You get 16 gigabytes of storage for $199, and this is the most affordable entry point into Apple's iOS ecosystem. Now, this is probably one of the most underrated iPods out there next to the iPod Classic. Personally, though, this is probably the iPod I would buy myself. The price is right at $199. For $249, you can bump up to a 32 gigabyte capacity. It's a time-tested design. It has the old 30-pin connector on the bottom, so it's going to work with a ton of accessories that are already out there on the market. And you get all the fun of iOS. You get the most recent version of iOS, all the apps, all the games. You get Bluetooth on here, AirPlay, Nike Plus integration, all the stuff you're used to seeing on an iPod Touch or an iPhone or an iPad, but you get in this small design. And like I said, it's, the price is perfect. You're also getting twice the capacity that you got on last year's model, which was offered $199, just 8 gigabytes. This time you're getting 16 gigabytes for the same amount. It's a good deal. So there's a newer iPod Touch out there, the fifth generation, which gives you a larger 4-inch screen. It's got a better camera on the back, a lighter, thinner design. But it's $100 more than you're going to be paying for this. For me, the 3.5-inch screen isn't that much smaller. The processor, to me, what I'm, my, for my needs, isn't that much faster. You're getting all the same stuff that you love about iOS, but just in a more affordable package. I say the downside of going with this version of the iPod Touch instead of the most recent is that you're dealing with a slightly heavier design, a smaller screen, slower processor. If you're really into games and you want to stay on the cutting edge, go with the faster processor in the fifth generation iPod Touch. This to me is like the, my iPod Classic. This is a time-tested design. It's been around for a while. A lot of great software for this, a lot of great apps, a lot of great things you can do with an iPod Touch. $199 is a great selling point. So there you go, that's the fourth generation Apple iPod Touch. It's not the fastest, it's not the flashiest, it's not the lightest or the biggest, but at $199, I can accept a lot of those sacrifices for a great product. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell, giving you a second first look at the fourth generation Apple iPod Touch.